Okay, I want to talk to you guys about how everyone is terrible, and that's okay. Uh, hear me out. Are you, um, listen, everyone is terrible. I don't know if you guys are on board yet, but um, <laughs> basically all of you are terrible people. <laughs> um, so basically, here we go. Everyone is terrible. You, <laughs> you, <laughs> you, <laughs> me, we're all very terrible. I mean, if you think maybe, maybe you're not, maybe you're not convinced yet, that's okay, we'll get to that later, but like, maybe you're like, no, wait, I have a, I have a child in my life, I have like a grandma, she's wonderful, she's not terrible. Okay, I want you to take a moment, I want you to think about that person, I want you to think about, okay, maybe they're good, but now start to think, what, what, what about that one time? You know, what about the one time that they, oh, that they lied, and then they cheated, you know, and then they took that piece of fruit right out of your hand. <laughs> look, that's a banana. <laughs> I'll help you with the visual. Look, <laughs> look how happy they are eating that banana. <laughs> you think they're so good now? Maybe the fruit didn't happen, but the other stuff, right? It's, uh, it's all true. <sighs> My point is that almost everybody is terrible. To help me out is a graph. This is a graph. Uh, it's been scientifically researched. This is who's terrible and who isn't terrible. Um, what you'll see right now is this This 5% represents the good ones, okay? That's a rounded up figure. Because um, approximately, there's only, there's only about seven or eight genuinely good people in the whole world. Uh, seven of them are um, hospice nurses, and the other one is Michelle Obama. <laughs> These people are all heaven-bound, but this talk is not about them, okay? Uh, the other, this 10% is the truly evil amongst us, all right? We're talking about the Hitlers, the Ryan Lochtes, okay? Uh, these, these people are just demons in human skin they've borrowed from graves. And, um, and they don't serve much of a purpose, but you know who they are, all right? And their, most, their purpose is to distinguish them from you, right? This 85% is everyone in this room, I think. Um, most of us are terrible. We try to be good at times, but um, yeah, for the most part, we're really bad people. Uh, I know this is a little off-putting to hear, so I like to make the analogy of like, maybe we're like puppies, right? Think about puppies. Like, puppies, look, they're so cute. Oh my gosh. Look, they're so fun at playing, they're so cute, they're so good. But look, oh shoot, don't you think that puppies spend most of their time taking dumps? You know? So it's like, we're pretty good, you know, sometimes we're cute, but we spend most of our time like spreading shit all over the place. <laughs> so just think about that, you know? So you, this might be a lot to throw at you, it might be a little confusing, so let's start with a base knowledge of who we are not, okay? This is the 10%, the terrible demon people you know to be terrible. All right, let's start with rapist murderers, anyone who wears a fedora. <laughs> All right, then we got most likely your boss. Right? Live bug collectors. Yes, I know. Donald Trump. Okay, anyone who says the following words to you at any time, day or night, you look tired. You shouldn't tell people that it's rude. <sighs> so now that we have a base understanding of that 10%, let's move on to our people, the semi-terribles, okay? I was gonna show you some slides of the 5%, but I know you'd just get jealous and judgy, and then it would just be, you know, it's like, oh, that's the point. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's move on to the 85%. These are terrible people you might not expect to be terrible at first, but they are, okay? People who use golf umbrellas in metropolitan areas during rainstorms. <laughs> These people are bad people. <laughs> this is only going to get in people's eyes and faces. Nobody needs to be that dry. <laughs> Next, anyone who asks you to cat sit for them. Cats are not loved by anyone but their owner. I hate to break it to you. I know this might divide up the crowd, but cats are terrible creatures and they should be turned into meat. <laughs> be part of a balanced diet. Think of the hungry children. Okay, babies. Speaking of children. I get it, everyone loves babies. It's a very cute baby, but honestly, if adults acted like that, they'd be banished from society. <laughs> Next, unicyclists. 
Unicyclists always get skilled and then they do it everywhere. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, we don't need that kind of, <laughs> we don't need it, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Moving on, celebrities. I know some of you like celebrities. They're fun, they're famous, they're very beautiful. As they entertain us. But like this guy from Dharma and Greg, he just got fired from uh, Criminal Minds for kicking somebody. You can't kick somebody, friend. <laughs> it's 2016. <laughs> you can't. You just can't. Okay, so you, maybe you're getting a sense, a good sense of what's what, all right? Or maybe you're thinking... Sure, those people are terrible, but no, I'm pretty good. <laughs> no, this is a lie you tell yourself. You're most likely in the group, too, unless you're one of the aforementioned hospice nurses or Michelle Obama. <laughs> Remember that graphic from before? Yeah. <sighs> this is the graphic. Um, I'll tell you because no one else will. You're all terrible people. Most of us are, okay? Chances, even if you don't fit into the, the previous descriptions, chances are most likely you've broken someone's heart at some point. Even 20 years down the line, they still think you're terrible. <laughs> you ever have a conversation about an ex and you keep hoping to hear that they ran into a burning fire? <laughs> oh, I just ran into Melinda. She's, she seemed, you ever seen her in a while? Oh, no. No, did she run into a burning fire? <laughs> oh, no, I just wanted to tell you she seemed to be doing pretty good. Oh, good, good. It's, no matter how long it's been, they always think you're terrible. And how about, how about a car accidents? You ever get really pissed when you're driving because it slows down and you got to get somewhere, but then you find out someone died in a car? Yeah, it happens. I don't care if it's not funny, it's true, all of you have done it. Okay, so, so maybe you've never broken a heart or maybe you've never gotten mad at traffic. Maybe you've done some of the following checklist. I'm going to ask, I'm going to show you this checklist and then I'm going to ask you to say check if you've done it after I read it. First one, going through plastic cups like they're made of leaves. Thinking about punching people on the subway. Yeah. Getting mad at customer service reps even though you're just mad at the product. Yeah. Buying stuff you don't even need like kitchen appliances that only make pancakes. Yeah. <sighs> Making plans you know you're going to cancel on. Yeah. Being rude to your good friends and family because you know they aren't going anywhere. Pulling out your phone at important family functions to check how many likes you got on a mediocre Beyonce tweet. I'm at this family wedding, like, where are all the single ladies at Beyonce? Hashtag Beyonce and me. <laughs> Who said check? <laughs> You're honest. Spending whole days watching Netflix when you could be doing anything decent for society. <laughs> Running over animals with your car, even if it's an accident. Rollerblading as an adult. <laughs> and toilet seat hovering. This is a bad, bad behavior. Now I want you to repeat after me. We're going to read the following slide together. I am a terrible person. Again. Person. This time with force. Now a little flirty. <laughs> all right, the jig is up, okay? You aren't a good person, and you don't have to be all the time. Admitting to be terrible actually doesn't feel so bad, right? Like, in all honesty, doesn't it feel a little bit of a relief? You know? Maybe, maybe, some, of you are, maybe, maybe some of you are upset, and you're still probably thinking, what can you do about it? Nothing. <laughs> this is not that kind of TED Talk. I told you, it's like eight people at the top, you know? You don't, you don't want to be part of the 1%, do you? You know? <laughs> You're stuck here. It's like a fun little purgatory. <sighs> but let's give you something to go on. Why being terrible is okay. Okay. 
everyone has moments where they're maybe a little madder than they should be or sadder than they should be or more irritated or cheaper or dumber or more annoying or lazier or less tolerant than they should be. And let's face it, right? We are terrible little monkeys making terrible little monkey decisions and we're all just little monkeys going down in a little monkey ship. <laughs> it's kind of depressing, but I tried to make it sound cute. <laughs> we're all flawed human beings, you know? Like, w like, we do nasty, awful things to each other. We're only thinking of ourselves, you know? And, and we totally forget what's important at any given situation. But the fact is that we still try to be good, you know? Like, you're in the middle section for a reason. You know, and it, like, yes, you're bad, you know, and, but sometimes you're good. Like, maybe you, you hit a car and you didn't leave a note, but you still bring banana bread to the book club, and we appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> you work hard to be in the middle section. You know, it's a privilege to be here. You know, sure, you'll never be Michelle Obama, but you're never going to be Ryan Lochte either. <laughs> Let's hope. So you're doing okay, right? It's okay to be terrible. So like when you see your monkey friend do something terrible, just don't do that thing. <laughs> when you see your monkey friend do something good, do that thing. <laughs> monkey see, monkey do better. <laughs> Go monkeys. Thank you. Yeah.